I'm John from Green Star Power, and it's a beautiful day out today. There was only three weeks ago that we were hit with a flash ice storm that knocked out power to over a million people here in eastern Ontario and western Quebec. Personally, we were out for four days, and I think the thing that made it bearable for me was our Generlink. This is the Generlink right here. And I want to tell you a bit about the Generlink, how it works, and how Green Star Power can help you. So this is our power setup right here, coming into our house. Our electricity comes in underground cables from the pole through this conduit into the meter base, gets measured by our meter, and then goes into the basement to the panel on the other side of that wall. And this piece in between, that's our Generlink. And the Generlink is an automatic transfer switch. It does not create electricity. It doesn't generate electricity. It switches electricity. And basically it senses when there's no electricity coming into the house, it senses that, and it then switches the electricity to this connector, or it switches the path of the electricity to this connector here, which is an input to the, to the, the box. And you can plug a generator into here and supply your house from the generator through here. If the power comes back on, the Generlink protects your house and protects the entire circuit. And so you can have the generator running even if the power comes back on. Also, the Generlink will protect the system this way, so it will not send electricity back to the pole. And that's the beauty of the Generlink is that it's fair, other than having to connect your generator, it's a fairly automatic system. So here's what you get with a Generlink. You get the cord, this one's a 20 footer. It has your standard plug on one end that goes into the, the Generlink. And on the other end, this one here has a 30 amp locking. Mine, I had to put a 20 amp locking on because my generator is a little bit smaller. Um, and we'll sort that out for you. You get a new ring with the instruction manual. You get a ring to put the Generlink on your meter base and we'll coordinate that with Ontario Hydro or whatever service you use. Um, we'll coordinate the disconnect. Hydro will come, turn off the power at the post, then remove your meter from the base. We install the Generlink, something like this, and clamp it with the, with the clamp. And then Hydro will put the new meter, or put the old meter back onto here. And that's all there is to it. Often takes less than an hour. The Generlink has four status lights. They're actually on the bottom. This one here turns blue whenever there's utility power being applied to your meter base. This one turns red if there's a fault in the system somewhere. This one turns yellow if you're exceeding 30 amps of power through your meter base. And the last one turns blue if you have a generator hooked up to it. So the next thing I want to look at is a generator. This one's mine. It's a 25 year old Generac. It's 5,000 watt continuous power with a 10 horsepower Tecumseh engine. So it's a nice generator. It's uh, done me well. And I've been able to run a lot of power into my house using it. As far as the Generlink goes, the really important part is this plug right here. All right, this is your output, your 122 40 volt output. And that's going to be uh, plugged into your Generlink. So I had shown you the plug earlier on on the cable. This is a 30 amp, it won't fit into a 20 amp. Now, if you had an 8,000 watt generator or a slightly bigger one, you'd stick with the 30 amp plug. But this one here, this one's my cord over here. And I took the 30 amp off and I put a 20 amp on. And the difference mostly is the radius of the plugs as well as where the locking mechanism is. And so that's something that we can take care of. Once you order your Generlink, we'll make sure that you get the right end that, that will suit your generator. Here I am in my electrical room in the basement. You can see my power comes inside from out and uh, goes through my 200 amp breaker, which then goes through the two sides of the electrical panel. Now a generator with a Generlink cannot supply the whole house all at once. And so you need to be able to turn these, some of these breakers off or most of them off at any given point and only turn on the ones that your generator can power. And those are going to be the ones that are important to you and everybody's different. So over here on the wall, I have a list of what's important to me, including the fridges and the freezers, the sump pump, uh, my well. And so those are all important to me. The other one that's important is a hot water heater. So if, if it's power is going to be out for a while, you'll want to turn on the hot water heater. My 
generator is a 5,000 watt. My hot water heater takes about 4,500 watts. So I can pretty much only run my hot water heater. I can't run any of the fridges. So I have to be able to turn everything off and just turn this one on. In Green Star Power, we can help you um, know which ones are important to you and help you make your own list because everybody's different. There are a couple of options to consider when purchasing your Generlink. If you have a higher powered generator, then you'd probably want to go with a 40 amp and uh, that way you'll have extra power in your house. There's two options that I haven't discussed yet. Generlink comes with surge protection or without surge protection. Without surge protection is a little lower priced, but with surge protection, what it does is it provides protection for if your generator suddenly puts out a little more power, sudden surges in power, the Generlink will take care of that for you and, and, um, and make sure that, that doesn't, those surges don't get to those appliances that you have in your house that might be sensitive to surges. So you have uh, two options in output power, 30 and 40, and then you have both of them come in either surge or non-surge. And then the other options to consider is your plug that you want on the end of your, of your power cord. You can either get a, a 20 amp, a 30 amp, or a 50 amp. And again, Green Star Power can go through all those things with you to make sure that you get the options that you want. Well, the wind has picked up. I'm really hoping we're not gonna get another storm. What are the next steps? What we'll need from you is to take a picture of your meter, take a face front on view of a picture of your meter, including your meter base, because we need to see if it's an old style or not. Give us a call at Green Star Power and we'll make an appointment and make sure that we get all the information that you need and we'll give you a firm price. Have a good day.